Hello, peoples! In today's video, I'm going to continue with what I think is the best solo ship for each level of the bounty hunting missions in Star Citizen. I covered the ERT level missions in my last video. The link to that you'll find at the end of this one. So now I'm going to cover the VHRT, HRT, and MRT missions, and I'm going to be using the same type of ship for all three levels as it will be more than capable of handling the types of targets typically found in these missions. You could even use the same type of ship for all bounty hunting missions, starting with the very low risk target, or LRT, going all the way up to the ERT, or extreme risk. But that would not be the most efficient way to do it. For example, can you kill an Aurora using a 600i? Well, yeah, of course you can. I don't think you want to use a big 600i to go after such a small target because it's not very cost effective. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. This category was more difficult than I first thought, as there are a lot of great solo ships you can use for these levels of missions, and all of them will get the job done. So I'm going to try and pick a ship that can be used reasonably well as a solo ship that is able to complete the mission as quickly as possible while factoring in other things like the cost incurred when refueling, repairing, and rearming after each mission is considered. Now these are just my opinions. And I invite you to comment in the section below on what you use and how you outfit it. So get a snack, a tasty beverage, sit back, relax, and let's get to it. Now first we're going to take a look at some ships that are great picks for these levels of missions, but I didn't choose. First up is going to be the Cutlass. Great firepower, four size three guns, large number of missiles, can carry cargo, that's a plus. Works well as a solo ship or even better with the front and the turret cheap for what you get. This was really hard. This, this is definitely my second choice, if not first choice. It really depends on how versatile you want to be, so don't overlook it. Now next up is going to be the Reliant Tana. Great firepower with six size two guns, provided you've got the correct turrets on the wingtips. Really good missile loadout, comparable to what the Cutlass has. No cargo. A little bit limited in what its role is and its versatility. But again, if you're just running bounty hunting missions, this is a solid choice. It's not going to be my pick, though. Next up is going to be the Banyu Defender. Great firepower with four size three guns. An okay missile loadout. It's nothing to write home about. No cargo capabilities. The maneuverability on this is a little bit better than the Cutlass Black, but it's got basically the same shielding. A little bit more on the hull hit points, I believe. Again, another solid choice but you give up the versatility of the Cutlass, so I'm going to do a pass. Another ship that I really like is going to be the Anvil Hawk. Uh, awesome firepower for its size with two size one and four size two guns as well as an EMP. Downside, no missile loadout, no cargo, kind of fragile, but again, punches way above its weight class, but still not my pick. Now another great ship would be the Sabre. You have awesome firepower with four size three guns. Your missile loadout's okay, nothing to write home about, but not bad. It's got some stealth capabilities, no cargo, a little fragile, but not too fragile. Very good maneuverability and probably one of the sexiest fighters in Star Citizen, at least I think so. But still not my top pick. Closing up in the bottom section is gonna be the Avenger Stalker. Good firepower with one size four gun and two size three guns. A light missile loadout, no cargo. Fairly decent ship though. Not bad if you're in the starter category and you're kind of looking for a budget build, but as with the Sabre and the Hawk, not my top pick. And to round down here, we're gonna go with a 325A. Good firepower, one size four gun and two size threes. Okay, missile loadout, no cargo. Can you do box running missions with it? Sure. But that's not what we're going for here. So I'm going to do a pass on this one, although it's still a sexy looking ship. So with all that said and done, I'm going to go with the F7C Hornet, and here's why. One, this fighter has the firepower to take out any target that you will run across in a VHRT, HRT, or MRT level mission. If you're good enough, you can even use it in ERT missions. Two, it's maneuverable enough to be able to take on groups of fighters at the same time, and it's tanky enough to be able to save a few hits from those fighters. And believe me, if you've ever faced four or more hurricanes at the same time, you're going to take a couple hits. Three, 
It's a versatile weapons platform when it comes to outfitting it with any weapon you can possibly imagine. You have up to six weapon hard points uh, when you attach the chin and ball turrets and that gives you two size one, two size two, and two size three guns. That will allow you to mix and match any combination you could ever want or need. Now the downside is that the missile payload is just okay. It's nothing great, you have no cargo, can't even do box running missions on it, so it's only suited for combat missions, but that's what we're looking for. Remember, this is bounty hunting missions. Matter of fact, the only reason to pick this ship over the Cutlass is because you can run bounty missions faster, at least in my opinion, than in a Cutlass. If that's not an issue for you, go for the Cutlass because it's way more versatile and it's actually cheaper than the Hornet. And now we're at the part of the video where you get to tell me what type of ship you like to use and how you like to outfit it for these bounty hunting missions. Now remember, there is no correct answer here. It's Star Citizen. Fly whatever ship you like to fly. That's the only rule. So I hope you uh, enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead, hit that like and subscribe and notification bell as it'll help me out. If you're new to Star Citizen, don't forget there is a referral code that will give you some free UEC when you open up a new account with Star Citizen. Don't forget to use that because free stuff is always good. And uh, as always, till next time, take care.